When Ricky Gomez saw this beatdown in progress, he documented it and called for help. Call the 911. I don't even know what to do. At some point I started to record, but at some point when I stopped to record, I was like, this guy's gonna kill this poor guy. He says Tuesday, around 3.15 p.m. at the Queen in Sherbourne, Dollarama, he saw another customer with a leaky coffee cup trying to go inside. When a security guard grabbed him, ripped his shirt, and wouldn't let him go. Let me go, let me go. And the guy was trying to pull him out. And then the guy spit on the, on the security guy. And once he did that, the security guy started to pick up crazy. He started to punch his face. Gomez says the worst of the violence happened before he thought to record. He take him from the neck with both hands and pull, throw him to the wall and start to punch his face. He punched his face like six times. And then when the guy fell down to the floor, he started to kick his face, literally kicking his head like another six times. The guy was vulnerable since the first moment when he started to punch his face. The, could, the poor guy couldn't do anything. In a statement, Dollarama wrote it does not authorize the use of force in any situation. Upon learning of this incident, Dollarama put the third party security firm on notice while we investigate why protocol was not followed. They cannot use excessive force. The test is, was it reasonable under the circumstances? Personal injury lawyer Jasmine Dea says even if the customer spat on the guard, the guard, even potentially Dollarama, could be liable for the customer's injuries. I believe it's excessive to become physically aggressive if someone spits on you. Yes, it's not nice and maybe that's a knee-jerk reaction, but this is not just two friends, two buddies. This is someone in the course of their employment and they must follow the rules and responsibilities that come with that. And a security guard punching someone because they were spit on, if that is in fact the case, I view that as excessive force. Gomez says he's speaking out about the violent incident to prevent future ones. I told him, like, you have to report this because that could happen to everyone, to me, to anyone. Toronto police confirmed the guard has now been charged with assault. Chris Glover, CBC News, Toronto.